Artists and cultural professionals worldwide struggle to secure decent work and fair pay. During the pandemic, millions had no income or support. In many countries, especially in the global south, artists lack access to social protection. The UNESCO Ashberg Programme supports artists and cultural professionals across the globe by helping policymakers devise ways to protect artists, strengthening the legal protection of artists, improving the mobility of artists, and market access for their work. In Peru, during 2021, UNESCO Ashberg supported the revision of laws on the status of the artist. We worked with the Peruvian government and local communities across the country. Over 1,000 people engaged in the process using Quechua, Shipibo, and Spanish languages. In Namibia, UNESCO Ashberg supported advocacy and training for civil society and government officials on artistic freedom. Experts explained data collection, monitoring and reporting on cultural rights and freedom of artistic expression. Now, a national report on artistic freedom is being drafted. The UNESCO Ashberg programme offers concrete action to support artists and cultural professionals. It helps implement the 1980 recommendation concerning the status of the artist and the 2005 Convention on the Protection and Promotion of the diversity of cultural expressions. Promoting the basic human rights and freedoms of artists is something that we must commit to. I think in order to foster healthy, happy, just, inclusive societies, that includes the freedom of artists to create the work that they choose to create and the questions that they choose to ask. We have an obligation to make sure that we create societies that facilitates the safety and creative space for our artists to do that. <laughs>